Kolkata, home of the Night Riders, and host of this season's Open. India's second biggest city, the capital of West Bengal, lies in the northeast of the country on the banks of the river Hogli. The magnificent Queen Victoria Memorial is just one of the landmarks that remind people of the British influence on the city during the height of the empire. And of course, the most enduring influence is the sport that Britain brought to India. And nowhere is that more apparent than on the wide open spaces of the Maidan. 8 a.m. Sunday morning. Basically, if you snooze, you lose. The Maidan is absolutely packed with people playing football. Set against the imposing backdrop of Eden Gardens, there's only one story in town. IPL is something that all people, all religions, all from outside, all come together and have fun, understand each other. That's very good in IPL. Well, IPL is the biggest mega event of India, that's to be sure. We have Narin, we have Yusuf, we have Gambhir. That's like this time KKR is win. And it's not, uh, I'm not telling you, in all the Kolkatian people are telling you KKR is rock and KKR win this time. After the drama of winning their last nine games to take their second championship in three years, the Knight Riders are looking to become only the second franchise to win back-to-back -back IPL titles. Of course, I think there'll be pressure, but uh, we have done it two times out of three. So I don't think it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy as well. But still, the team who plays well is going to win. Skipper Gautam Gambier, Robin Utapa, Yusuf Patan and South African quick Mornay Morkel all return for Kolkata after playing key roles in last season's victory. And so too will Sonny Onorain, free to play the whole tournament after having his bowling action cleared in Chennai. Big boost, I won't say just a boost, but big boost for our side because he has always uh, come out as a match winner for us in almost every game if we see. So it is, I'll just say, a blessing in disguise for us that he's available for the whole season. Spin will once again be a huge part of the Knight Riders' strategy. Piyush Chawla, Shakib Al Hassan, Brad Hogg and Johan Botha can all expect to feature. And so too can Casey Cariapa. Just 19 and yet to make his first class debut, the mystery spinner was signed for an eye-watering $400,000 in the auction. Yeah, it was a big surprise for me, but I was not thinking about the money. I was just uh, want to be selected in IPL and to play for IPL. So. It's a good surprise. For well, IPL, uh, just a dream uh, come true because uh, we basically I was a tennis ball player and uh, it's a, like a gully cricket player in tennis ball. So of course it's a big game and uh, I didn't play domestic game also. It's a big platform and uh, it's a good future game for me. This afternoon the defending champions will open their campaign against the Mumbai Indians in India's largest cricket game. We can expect one hell of an atmosphere from 68,000 passionate KKR fans. People are crazy. I mean, they are uh, superb supporters. They are unbelievable. I mean, I, we just can't express their uh, our feelings towards them. And uh, that's why we feel electric on the field. It's just about coming out here and performing for them. It's nearly showtime. The stage is set for the eighth edition of the biggest T20 tournament in the world. The final will be hosted back here in 59 games time, but will it be Kolkata who find themselves riding to a third IPL title? We'll soon find out.